And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we're going to play A Complete Flags of the World, Game 3 by Pat Paste Q Hatchie. Uh, this is over 500 locations. I do like the flag games. Thought to uh, come back to this to play this one again. We'll do this as a two-minute no-move challenge. We'll invite you to play along. The play along link will be in the description below. Apologies, it's been a couple days since I've done a video. I've had, uh, let's just say, football or soccer, as we call it, the United States tournaments over this past weekend. Uh, some family um, some injuries to the to one of my daughters uh, on the football pitch and uh, had to take care of some of that stuff. So we're back. We're ready to go. Plenty of videos to come over the next several days. Uh, a lot of play alongs and stuff. So uh, looking forward to it. And let's get right into it. So let's see where this takes us. Complete flags of the world. We've got a talking about. Was that or is that? No, this is I was going to say this is uh, hockey. Uh, where's the flag? We are in Indonesia. That building there was the one clue, if you didn't know. Um, or I'm sorry. Singapore. I, I don't know why I said Indonesia. Singapore. More I'm thinking about that building over here is in Singapore. So I'm not, not sure why I was saying uh, Indonesia. Just uh, a little spacey, I guess. It's been literally, I guess, three days. It's probably the longest I haven't played this game. Uh, usually play this when I can. Unfortunately, this weekend did not have uh, a chance to play. So got to get back into it a little rusty i guess that's what happens um so we are google map and there's a field hockey pitch that it was a soccer but field hockey or hockey looking south so we are jalan sar swimming complex we are at the national gallery of art Here, Padang, playing field with historic sites. I think we are here. We are here on San Andreas Road. I think that's where we are. Singapore Cricket Club is where we are. Five thousand points, four yards. So that's a great first round. A little slow. Indonesia. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, that building there that we've had uh, before. I think in a game. Uh, Singapore. I just uh, man taking a sip of caffeine today. <laughs> okay, so we've got. Greece and another flag here. Marija K. Okay, Greek. Greece. Greece, Greece. Greek flags. We've got pigeons galore. Something, something, something. I'm gonna guess that we're probably in Athens. I mean, that would be logical, right? In a game like this, what is... This is... Is that a bird? Or is that uh, in flight or a pigeon? Minute 16. Yeah, sights of Athens. Okay, so there we are. Waste a lot of time trying to find that. And we're going to take a zoom into Athens and look for... See a square. Crapless, I don't think we're here. Let's um, Okay, go by the compass on this one. Um, 26 seconds. I'm going to go back over here. Um, maybe we're here. Nope, nope. I don't think we're there, but uh, 
close. 977 yards at National Resistance Square at the Town Hall of Athens. So uh, not too bad, 4,998 points. And we've got the flag of Kosovo. Rustem Haradinaj. And some fellow here. United Colors of Benetton. Interesting. Got what looks like a Lego, which my kids would love. That is a Lego. Probably not. Um, Republic of Kosovo. It's the first time I think I've been in Kosovo playing this game. So it's, uh, it's always fun to explore a new land, a new area um, of the world. That uh, you don't typically, or you won't get, I don't think, uh, in, I guess we're in Pristina, I would guess. Um, statue, wait, 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 statue of Bill Clinton. <laughs> Hold on. Is that Bill Clinton? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, wait. I see Benetton. Where the hell is the Benetton? Maybe I should look for Benetton. Um, Thirty-six seconds. Ah, come on, now that. Maybe we're not even in this city, but I would guess that we're here. Um, I guess near Bill Clinton, what the hell? Um, but although we're probably... No. We were north, and that was a statue of somebody. The government of the Republic of Kosovo there. Union Cafe. We were 1,677 yards, 4,996 points. Pretty statue Bill Clinton. It's interesting. Uh, okay, so Kosovo for that round. We get off to the next round, and we look like we... Ooh, oh, um... Is this like Jersey? They're palm trees, right? Where are the palm trees? Well, not quite short palms. Hmm. Okay, this is probably, this is the UK. But maybe we're further north, not down here. Um, or is this like this? I mean... Maybe this is Orkney Islands, Kirkwall. Hmm. Got red, yellow, and blue. We got what looks to be Scottish Irish, like with the walls and the style of homes. So we're not, no, we're not in the south. This is in the palm tree. There, give way is sign is not an Irish sign. We've got St. Peter's House. Um, I just stick with. Work in the islands. I don't know. I don't know why, but uh, I might just stay with that. And what a guess that was. For me, that is a great guess um, because of the Shetland Islands, Orkney. Um, just that, that the fact that I got it, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that one. I'd, um, but we were in Stromness at. Uh, no, I didn't want to go there yet. <laughs> St. Peter's. So in any case, 12 miles, 4,947 points. So I'm pretty pleased with that round. And what do we have here? We've got in 
Deutsch. Yes, Essenling. We've got Deutschland. So Germany, we are. Um, okay, the 10 and the 14. Waublingen. German wings. Deine Flügel nach ganz Europa. German wings. 19 euros to fly. Is that what that would be? Okay. So gotta let's see. Okay, let's get in. We've got so Google. So maybe we're up north. Um So 10 and 14. Wobblingen. Essingling. Okay. So Stuttgart, where we probably are. Is this a hotel or some sort? Oh uh, boy. Two seconds, I don't think we'll be able to... Okay, 1.6 miles. We're in Stuttgart, pretty happy with that one. The home of Mercedes-Benz, Porsche. Uh, where is Porsche? There it is, Porsche Museum. The museum, Rathaus. And we were near Jack's living room. And across the street from the planetarium. So what do we get here? We got 24,934, a personal best in this game, complete flags of the world. Um, first round, uh, let's go to the game breakdown and uh, take a look at this. So pretty happy with that. Pretty happy got the personal record on this one. Uh, I guess the next, the, the goal is to get a perfect score. Maybe we'll do that as a no move or a uh, no move, but no time limit round could we have done this in this game probably uh yes got a perfect round this one i thought oh there's indonesia but no there's the crescent and um i should have known for this building here uh I, i'm trying to think what this looks like and i can't picture it looks like a surfboard maybe on top of something i, I can't think right now um the singapore cricket club this is and um Yeah, beautiful, beautiful city. The second round, we went off to Athens, Greece. Uh, pretty straightforward on this one. This is uh, probably, I would say, as easy to get in terms of identifying country flag, although I'm not sure that this flag is here. Uh, a lot of pigeons and whatnot. But um, Resistance Square here in Athens uh, could have gotten a perfect score. Yeah, probably with more, uh, more time. Uh, on that round, I could have gotten uh, closer to the actual location. Round three, if I could get there, we went off to Kosovo. Um, was a perfect score possible in this? I'm sure you probably got a perfect score. I decided to, I decided that this guy is um, is Bill Clinton, which is okay. So uh, so in any case, yeah. So there we are. There, uh, I could have gotten a perfect score. Sure. Um, but Kosovo, the flag, just had another flag with that one. Um, let me take a quick look at this again for folks that don't know the flag of Kosovo. Uh, you could have found it here, but not clear. So if you could read that, then you could have gotten it, any other clues. I see a lot of flags of Kosovo there. Um, yeah, I don't know what else sun there um on that round so enough of that enough 
uh, talking about that. I guess we'll just go to the fifth round. That's where it wants to take us. Germany. Uh, first thing I knew was here. I didn't even need to go to a flag. I knew that uh, Essingling and these the signs, the street signs, and the D on this uh, van here was Germany, Deutschland, and then the flag here. Um, I wonder what flag this is. Comment down below if you know what flag this is. The European flag here, which is interesting because it's higher than the German flag. I don't know what protocols are on flags. But uh, I know in the United States, the flag has got to fly. Any other flag has got to fly equal, I believe, with the height of the United States flags. I thought that was commonplace throughout the world. But here, uh, it looks like the European flag is higher than the German flag. Unless this is, uh, this is not really the German flag. Maybe it's like a banner. So comment down below. What flag is this? I'm sure it's a, probably of a state, some, some state in Germany. Maybe it's Baden-Württemberg. Maybe that's their flag. Comment down below if you know that. Uh, and the fourth round, which we skipped over to go to Germany, is uh, the Orkney Islands in Stromness, Scotland. And I'm guessing that's the flag of the Orkney Islands. So that was a pretty good guess. Could I have gotten a, could I have gotten a perfect score on this one? Ah, uh, we were on Hell Hole Road, Helly Hole. I don't know how to say Hell Hole Road. Uh, probably not, because I don't see St. Peter's. I would have gone off of St. Peter's house. Could I have lined up the road? Was there any clues on road names? I could have been here all day for this one. So, yeah, that might have been tough in that round to get a perfect score. Might have gotten a couple points off. But in any case, a fun one. Hopefully you learned something from the review of the game. Hopefully you had fun playing this game. I'm glad that I uh, could get back to playing it. Got a little, a little rusty, a little rusty. But as always, this is fun. Hopefully you enjoyed playing this game. As always, want to get to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for continuing to support the channel, the nice comments and all that stuff. Um, if you could hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and share this with your friends, it would be really appreciated. A lot of great content to come. Uh, and also, comment if you want me to play a game uh, that you haven't seen me play. I would more than happy to do it, do a video on it. Uh, so as always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.